In an Android application, the way a project is set up is you have several activities and each activity is, is basically each of your views of the application, each of the pages that the user will see. Um, so for example, in Facebook, it would be, you have the, the news feed page and that would be one activity. And then you have um, maybe your page that sh shows your profile and that's a different activity. And then if you click on your friends, that's another activity. Each of the views that the user can see are each different activity classes. Um, what I noticed was most effective in creating my application is to actually do not only those activities, but to also have a sort of main active application.java that is just the file that's run at the beginning of the class. Um, so what we did is we created a main activity.java class, and then below that we have the main activity.java and some other activity.java. And then for each activity that you want the user to be able to view, like main or sum, you'll have its own XML file. So we got main.xml or sum.xml. And everything that you want the user to be able to um, interact with in your application, you place in the Android manifest. So what you can actually do is you can program your Android manifest to run the main application.java class and then show the main activity.java class. And this is really important when doing push notifications because up in the main application.java class, we actually put all the um, push notification stuff to, to get it set up and registered and, and all of that with your application. And then below in your main activity.java class, that's where we put all the functions specific to the activities. So for example, uh, as interns, we created a simple chat application. So the easiest application to really compare it to is maybe Facebook Messenger. So you click on the application and it opens up a screen that says, you know, Facebook Messenger, or in our case, it was called FinSlap. And you have a list of all the people you've had conversations with. And then when you hit the plus button, it goes to the contacts page of everyone within the, the ecosystem in which you know people you're friends with. And then uh, when you actually click on one of those conversations, it'll have that conversation you have with that person. And you can type additional messages and, and chat with them. And um, if you click on any of the messages, you can, you can go to the message page. Um, so kind of in really broad terms, we have on the far left, we have mainactivity.java which the view with all the buttons and the lists and the text boxes, that's called main.xml. And then um, in the main activity of that Java class, we actually call that list of people who we've had conversations with a conversation list. And then for contacts, you have, you know, the same thing, contacts activity Java, contacts.xml, and then an account list of account objects. Something else to consider is, we have, if you're looking at kind of like it from maybe a model view controller perspective, the main activity and main.xml is your view, and then your conversation list of conversation objects. Actually retrieving those conversation objects would be your data access layer, lay, layer or your, um, your model. So for your model, you have objects like conversation, account, and message. And then to actually access and request all that information, we use something called it an HTTP requester, which um, you know is just something that'll you know ask our server, you know what conversations do we have, what accounts do we have, and that's kind of the um, the, in, the in between guy to to go and get that information. One of the problems I noticed when I was making this app is sometimes each of my activities would have some of the same methods and want to do the same things. And anytime that happens, you can have this copy and paste nightmare where you have it you know, written a bunch of times and every time you get changed, you have to copy and paste. And that's, that's always a bad idea. That's a big no-no. So what I did is I created this generic activity, the Java class up top. And I had each of my main activity classes extend, extend, um, extend that class. And that allowed me to move all of those methods to the generic activity method. And then from each of my activities, I could call, I could super, I could call up those methods. Um, 
anyway, so that's just an idea if you notice that you have a lot of the same methods that you want to call over and over, and it becomes especially important when you're doing push. So anyway, more details in the next video.